This video demonstrates the use of the alternating block template, which may be used to produce a storm hydrograph for Activity 2.5 of the Dry Canyon module in HydroViz. The goal behind the alternating block method is to construct a hydrograph such that the peak precipitation occurs at the midpoint of the storm and the falling limbs of the hydrograph successively decrease in depth. The required inputs for this template include only the tabulated data from NOAA's Precipitation Frequency Data Server, or PFDS which may be collected by following the instructions in Activity 2.4 of the same module. An example of the tabulated PFDS data is shown at the top of the template in the blue box. Before we begin, let's take a look at the template. The only cells that must be manipulated are highlighted in yellow, and they include the PFDS precipitation frequency estimates, the storm duration, the hydrograph time step, and the storm return period, which is sometimes referred to as a recurrence interval. Once those cells are populated, the cells in step 3 will automatically be calculated for you. You may then plot your results to produce your final figures, which will include an incremental depth hydrograph and a cumulative depth hydrograph. Let's begin by populating the matrix with the appropriate PFDS data. The data used for this example will be the tabulated PFDS data within the blue box. Notice only the precipitation depths are used in the matrix and not the return period or the storm duration. Next we must determine the duration of the storm and the time step of the hydrograph. We will use a duration of one hour and a time step of five minutes for this example. For future reference, the duration should be five to ten times larger than the time of concentration, and the time step should be about five to ten times smaller than the time lag. We must then determine the return period of the design storm. We will use a return period of 50 years for this example. However, the return period is typically based on local codes and the type of project for which the design storm is being constructed. With the yellow cells populated, notice that steps 3.1 through 3.5 have automatically been completed within the template. In step 3.1, the cumulative depths of the PFDS data for the return period have automatically been selected based on user input. However, notice that the time increment for this data is inconsistent. The alternating block method requires that the time increments be equal. Therefore, in step 3.2, the cumulative depths have been linearly interpolated and now increment with the chosen time step of 5 minutes. To check our work, note that the depths for 30 and 60 minutes are correct. The alternating block method requires that the precipitation depths be incremental. Therefore, in step 3.3, we calculate the incremental depths from the cumulative depths we just interpolated by simply calculating the difference between the successive depths. Next, in step 3.4, we must reorder the incremental depths. This is where the name alternating block comes from. Note that the first and the last steps are the smallest, and the middle is the largest. Finally, in step 3.5, the data is formatted such that it can be plotted. Your incremental hiatograph should look something like this, and your cumulative hiatograph should look something like this.